What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty NDV10 uh, back again with just a, a quick little mail day. Um, mail day and then a care package uh, that I got from uh, good buddy Max, uh, Max Jax. Uh, yeah, <laughs> can't say enough about uh, Max and uh, all I appreciate that you do for for me and the, the friendship and the cards, totally secondary. But um, anyways, yeah, I've known Max for like 20 years <laughs> since since we were like kids. So um, I wouldn't have half the cards in my collection if it wasn't for him. So uh, some mail day first, and then we will get into this care package from Max. Uh, funny enough, this one actually also came from Max. I bought this like, God, I don't even know, eight months ago. It's been sitting on my desk. Uh, I like Fred Snodgrass. I don't have a ton of T205, so I was happy to get that downgrade from his collection. Um, they grow on me. The, this is a really good three and a half. This card is fantastic looking in hand. Um, but as you'll see in the background here, I got some Doyles. We'll get into that. Um, this is a very, very tough card. I actually just want a, another copy from, um, same auction house. Got this from REA. Uh, this it must've been like the absolute bottom of the pre-war market because this is a, a short print in the T207 set. Um, to get a broad leaf, to get this card in a, I paid two hundred dollars for this. Um, I would expect a two of this card to get two hundred dollars, and I paid that for a five um, broadleaf. So very very tough card. I'm literally snail's pace chipping away at this set, but that's a good one. Um, next up, this one actually came from Scott. Um, I'll show both of them. It's it's one card I picked up, but actually, funny enough, again. Uh, I bought this card from Max way back in the day. This was probably like one of the first 15 or 20 T206 I bought. Uh, and then I got an American Beauty back to go uh, with it. Nice pairing there. Snodgrass is a pretty tough off-back card. And um, this card and um, this pose specifically. So very happy to add that American Beauty. Thank you, Scott. Um, next up, I'll kind of just show off my Larry Doyles in a Max Tribute. Um, let's see. I know that's his favorite. So we'll start with um, the throwing. This is a 150 only subject. I, and I, I'm very proud of my Larry Doyles that I have. Nothing like what Max has, but uh, this is a very nice three and a half. Love it. Just perfect centering. Great registration on this, on this, uh, this example here. Really nice P150, clean back, clean card, love that one. Um, next up, this is a beautiful, beautiful example of this card. Uh, this is the Larry Doyle portrait. Just a crazy, crazy red background there. Pretty good registration for this one as well, to be honest. This card also, oftentimes I found to be a little fuzzy. It's a four and a half with a 460 30 back, sweet cap. And then last but not least, Max's favorite card. Uh, this is the Larry Doyle with Bat, and I have an Old Mill. This is a pretty solid example for this one as well. I'm, I definitely don't feel the need to upgrade this. So, let's see what Max got me. I appreciate it as always, man. Let's see what we got. I think I know like one or two one or two cards in here i don't know maybe i don't know if these have, those have even come in yet uh he did tell me there was a postcard so oh boy we have been uh digging into some non-sport stuff lately and you want to talk about uncovering some hidden gems i want to i don't want to peek okay i think that's the front I'm going from this way max you're supposed to tell me what's the front and what's the back so I don't ruin the surprise for myself. But anyways, we've been digging into some non-sport, and it is just an absolute blast I've been having. Um, you got to search in some pretty non-traditional places to get to that stuff. All right, almost there. This is a live-action mail day here, boys. All right. I see a really cool-looking ad back there. I'll tell you that much. All right, she's free. Whoa, whoa, that first card is killer. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Wow, what a stunner on the front there. 
I've got the Allen and Ginter version, um, and it's just so funny. We've been talking about all the all these rip off um, different issues, and uh, that looks like one of them there. Man, that thing is gorgeous, though. Holy smokes! I definitely owe use for some of these cards. I got to figure out that part. Man, what an incredible looking start. Oh man, that thing is gorgeous. Huntley and Palmer's biscuits. What a beauty. If you guys don't know, I collect kind of just as a, not really a joke, I enjoy it. Uh, turkey cards, pre-war turkey issues. That is just a stunning piece. Look at that back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just gorgeous. That thing is going to look so good. So good in a slab. And the rest of this, holy crap, man. I don't even know what to say. I want to start with this stack. But I've got some postcards in the back there staring at me. This thing is incredible looking. Holy smokes. Okay, I knew about these two. Damn, that thing is awesome. Blank back there. Man, that is that is a killer looking piece. Love that. Thank you so much, Max. And then these are the three we talked about. These things are just gorgeous. I mean, look at the, the foiling on those. And they are just in exceptional shape. Here's the back of those. Wow, wow, wow. Just gorgeous. Assuming these were made in Dresden, maybe? Stunning pieces. Look at that. These are going to pop. I love Americana. This stuff is gorgeous. Wow. Man, I don't even know what to say. This thing, this one I knew about. This is awesome. Again, the guy about to smoke that turkey out of a tree there. As he's gobbling his head off. And then, holy smokes. What in the hell is this? I have never seen this before. And I am in love. Wow. That is gorgeous. Ponce de Leon Park in Atlanta, Georgia. Watching the game. All right. I am absolutely stunned. This thing is a piece of art. I love the old postcards. Wow. Anything with Atlanta on it, that is so cool. Wonder if that was the Atlanta Crackers team playing back there. Probably so. I'll definitely dig into this. Max, I am so thankful, man, um, for everything. Wow, what a mail day. Uh, kind of a long video, guys, but definitely worth it. Thank you so much again um, for everybody watching. Thank you so much, Max. I don't even know what's my favorite, dude. I'm stunned. I don't even know what is my favorite. That's all I got, guys. Check out Max's channel. It has the best Larry Doyle collection. One of the best pre-war collections out there in general. And that's all I've got, guys. Thank y'all for watching. See you next time. Peace.